Curious vaccine is uh, we waited all week for this first weekend of the two E, but this is a we been like the link to the video video will be the description below. Go in second month. So let's into this vaccine three, two, one. What do you think about this cave, bro? It's dope. Legitness. Supposed to go on like an hour long hike with the kids up a mountain right now. What do you think? Should be good, right? <laughs> Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It is the weekend, and we are going to be doing something super fun in the pouring rain. Guys, we told you we had a fun-filled day because we just crave those full long days together when we can do something amazing out in the sun, the great weather. So mom has decided to put together a fun little hike. It's a hike that she does quite often. She goes up to the Timpanogos Cave, the cave, right? Not Mount Timpanogos. We're not gonna try and pull that one off. We planned this one well in advance. At the top of the cave, normally mom just touches a fun shiny rock, comes back down. But this time, you get to go in the cave, take a tour of the cave. You actually go deep into the Timpanogos Caves. It's like a 40 minute tour. It's incredible. We're so pumped about it. We purposely planned it early in the morning. We knew on an August Saturday, it's going to be hot, sunny. Nobody wants to deal with that heat as you're hiking up and down a mountain. Well, we woke up and it is pouring rain outside. Well, it is you know? cloud hey. cover, which I was grateful for. But hey, you know what? It's actually kind of decently cloudy out there. It's kind of cooled off. It's not intensely hot. And then all of a sudden, I'm downstairs grabbing my fanny pack and GoPro. And I hear the sound of pouring rain. And I yell up the stairs, is that rain outside? Yeah. Mom, mom looks outside. Outside. It is a monsoon out there. But Riley just checked the weather for us. Supposed to blow over in the next 30 to 40 minutes or so. We are gonna get in the car right now, head up the canyon, see what the weather's like up there. Maybe Coming it's above us. the clouds. Maybe we're above the rain. Who knows? Maybe we're gonna get above it. I don't think we're gonna go back. I don't think we're going that high, but it looks like it might be letting up eventually. So we're gonna load up the kids, head to the canyon. We're starting off the first Saturday of school doing a hike up a mountain. It's gonna be awesome. In the rain. Hi, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Brexy. Hey, good luck on your first day of school. I love you, and don't let anybody make fun of your ears, okay? Okay. <laughs> How far in do you think we are? I mean, I got my watch going. Hang on, it'll tell me. I am 0.89 miles. How long is this thing? Mile and a half. Guys, I mean, I'm like more than halfway there, right? Yeah, we've passed halfway. I gotta tell you, thank You're you. You're doing great. For carrying me for the first half. I think I've got the second half on my own, though. Kids, how are you guys doing back there? Good? good. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna fall off this ledge. It does have some pretty, like, sheer cliffs on the sides. It's paved. Oh. I'm sorry. Well, I'm trying to Come show how cool it is. Some pretty drop off cliffs right here. They go straight down. Everywhere where they have these sections where rocks could fall or it's an edge, they have red and yellow stripes that basically say, don't stop there, which I just did, but I was actively fogging and walking, right? That yes, counts. And if you hear clapping, Oh. People are not cheering you on. What? It means I've heard so much clapping. Thank you. Thank you. But what is the rule when you hear uh, a rock? If you hear it, you need to duck, cover your head, and get as close to the mountainside as you can. Okay, so that's the rule. There's and there's absolutely no running, Brandon. <laughs> Oh wow, so we're getting pretty close. So they did say though, the rain today, the rock slide is much more likely. That is when yes. it would potentially happen. Yes. We're not super worried, but oh that's where we're headed. You can see people traversing across that path up there. Wait. All the way up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I thought, Life Sarah, you lied to me. She made it seem like it was just right there. That is way up there. Wait, it's up there somewhere. I gotta stop talking and save my breath for this it's hike, but I think it's been a fun start. But the big payoff <laughs> is we actually get to go in the caves this time. Mom and Sarah do this hike pretty regularly just to go up to the top, touch the rock, come back down as a so form of exercise. Awesome. But today it's more of an event and activity with the finish of going through the caves. So I thought you were gonna talk about lunch afterward, but yeah, we are going Oh my gosh, yes, lunch. You guys, we're with the Hansons. Craig is such a good friend. He's back here listening to all of the Oculus video oh. games. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close brr, brr, to brr, getting, brr. I'm pretty close to getting Craig to get a VR headset. I'm pretty close. What? He's too busy no. practicing law though, so it's hard to get him to do that. No. 
All right, guys, I've got Gatorade. I've got Advil, Band-Aids. You guys need anything? <laughs> that was a, a mom job. I got a phone and a video game console in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're so serious. You actually mm. have your Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, it's in it. So they did tell us there are two bathroom options on this hike. They called the bottom one the flush ones. Reason being, these ones are built, Greg, correct me if I'm wrong, 1800s? 1938. Wow, 1300s, 1938. Oh, so Riley's as smart as Craig. Surprise, surprise. Sure you don't belong in that family. Okay, so 1938, these are built, no flushers. So, so they've been stacking up for a long time. <laughs> I don't know if that's the smell or if it's mom's sweat from this it's hike. Probably. It's not that hard of a hike, sweetie. You got this. You can do this. I believe in you. Do your What's best. Your heart rate right it's now? enough. Oh, wait, actually, it says end workout. Because it's just like your heart rate's so low. There's no way you're doing a workout. Like, are you in bed? Like, you just seem very relaxed and at ease and in your element. So, do we have any people who want to go to the bathroom for their last chance? Of the last chance. Anybody gotta go? You literally have a cliffside and you enter a restroom. So this area is actually nice pretty view. steep, so they put in some railings here, guard rail. You gotta be with anyone under 18 at all times, but we are almost there. Last chance bathrooms for the indicator that you are nearly there. Once again, we're in a no stopping zone underneath some cliff sides here. I think we're gonna make it, boys. Big payoff is next, little tour of the caves. This is the entrance to the caves. It actually has like this sick door. Look at this, this is crazy. We're actually in the oh. caves. We've never done this before. Can you see? This is awesome, oh. I'm so excited. This is pretty cool. So this is like Harry Potter door. You go, no, the Narnia <laughs> closet. On the other side, Narnia, can you see? No, yeah. no, yes. <laughs> three caves today, all right? You guys know you're gonna be seeing three caves today? I didn't. Some were informed, some were not. So is this the natural bridge formations uh, upon first discovery? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just turn the lights on? So who here wants to know about that? Me. I'm a rock person. All right, we're going into the freezer now. You just, this is the meat locker. So they store the meat for the winter? I don't believe so. So, so the, the meat put the meat up? behind you so it latches? <laughs> They did tell us, oh man, it was bright. They did tell us that you do have to duck down because the ceilings are pretty low here. So we got Craig back there. Oh, it's not your breath. Gonna have, oh, is it that cold? Ooh, guys, it's a bit chillier out here. Can't see anything because I'm staring at the light. Whoa, whoa, dude, check that out. Kind of sideways, so you can have a backpack on, wear it to your side as you go chest to back, sideways up the stairs. Look at this pathway, this is so cool, dude. This is awesome. You can definitely see a lot better once you get that light on. And then you can really light it up. I just got dripped on with some natural cave water. This cave, bro. This is insane. That, that's so drippy. It's on drip. I can feel it. It's getting on me. It's on drip. You can't touch it, but I know it's very tempting. It's very tempting. Ah! Like actually splashing on me. It's dripping quite a bit. They're kind of cool. I'm going to leave the light off because he's going to. Oh, I thought he was going to turn the light switch off. I was going to show you the difference, but he wants us down the stairs so we are safe. Safety first. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, wow, that is very popular. Whoa, it's like white cheddar. Look cool. at this. That is so crazy how yeah. the different caves can have such completely different wow. formations inside. Looks like the light's inside of it. Holy heck, dude. I did not realize it. Oh, it's like a light is you take. Wow. Heart of Timpanogos right there. That's the heart of Timpanogos? You can hear it beat. <laughs> So we are in the Mount Timpanogos Caves, and this place is absolutely dope. Whoa, look at this. And up there. Thank you. Holy, this is insane. It goes up so high. This is unreal. We're trapped in this cave. There is no way out. Hoping to find the ice. Oh, there goes the handrail. Okay, we're good. We're back into civilization. All right, never mind.
coming out of there. That was really cool. It was really cool. It's been a really long time since I've done it, but I actually remember wow. the heart of Timpanogos. I remember seeing that. Yeah, there's a big section in the middle, the largest formation in there. They call it the heart of Timpanogos. They give you a full, like, lesson as you go through, kind of explain the different formations, how they get there, how they were discovered. I think to me, the most fascinating thing was how they found these caves. The random teenagers who yeah. were just off exploring crawl into a hole and just keep crawling until it opens up to this giant cave. And I'm just picturing these 14 year old wow, kids that are just like, hey, you know what? Let's just climb in that and see what happens. Ends up being a national monument. So come out of the caves now. And guess what? It's raining more than it was before. I thought it was supposed to blow over. I thought this was going to be done. I think it's supposed to be like this all day. Kind of a rainy, gloomy day. But we've made the most of it. We've had a ton of fun. I've had a ton Kids of fun. have been awesome. They've got their umbrellas, they're sharing them, wearing their jackets, coats, whatever. We do have delicious lunch on tap. Yes. So that is the motivation to get down this hill, yep, go get some sustenance, all, some food. Mile and a half down. Mile and a half down, okay. We are heading down the mountain right now to go back to our cars and then I think we're gonna head to lunch. Look at this view as we walk down. It's so wow, radical, bro. Cool. <laughs> We made it, we survived, we escaped the inescapable cave, we climbed the unclimbable mountain, uh, and let me tell you, nothing says end of summer like a wet, rainy, cold oh. hike up a mountain, guys. Summer's over, it's official, we're it back is, in school. It feels over Feels with over. Well, what's not over is the fun. We're gonna go grab some food, oh, so get something to eat, because we're all so hungry, and then uh, maybe let the kids just chill after tackling that mountain and cave. You guys did awesome, by the way. You guys are very impressive. Fun. made it we survived we hiked a mountain yep. today it was awesome it was a lot of fun in fact it ended up that it was kind of like a rainy day all day so we just kind of chilled inside beautiful it was a perfect day for a sweatshirt it was That's it was great thought. yeah it was fun rock and yeah. hoodies i'm not necessarily like moving into fall in my mind yet but when you're oh, back I'm in there. school it just kind of puts it on your mind today just felt like an official end of happiness i mean the end of summer <laughs> but if you go yeah, to stores I'm and stuff they have all the fall stuff out. i know even so a couple good. of stores have christmas trees up oh like, stop it you stop it right now i know it's coming for us though. we have halloween still to go i'm maddie's birthday to celebrate we have a lot of couple things. A lot of couple things. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we have another week of school. The second week of school coming up next we have week. a lot more weeks I of do school. feel like maybe we need to do some kind of like a school morning routine you had mentioned. Maybe yes. like an after school routine. We also school night routine. There's a lot of stuff. We need to buy stuff for school lunches. Probably we'll go do a haul next week. Okay. All right. So stuff. all of that coming your way guys. Come back as well as house updates of course yes. as the progress continues. We yes. love you guys. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night everybody. Wow. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey Brexy. Hey good luck on your first day of school, I love you, and don't let anybody make fun of your ears, okay? Okay. <laughs> you just seem very relaxed and at ease. What you think about this cave, bro? It's dope. It's dope. pretty rad. Sheesh busting. Legitness! Sheesh! Sheesh! <laughs>